the same kind of meaning from this particular data set. It's not too complex of a data set. But still, the picture gives me a better, you know, a pictorial representation that, that is a different angle to look at. And, it, and it, it usually kind of pops out a little bit more with the image. And if we have more complex data sets, then some data sets, the picture clearly is, is the only way we can even comprehend the data to be able to kind of assess what is going on. So now we've got the picture. Now this in Excel is what we call a bar, uh, a bar chart. So it's just your standard bar chart. So what is happening on the X axis, we just have the list of the words and we just listed all of the words. And then on uh, the Y, you've got how many times going up the Y axis, how many times they have shown up. And then clearly when we look at the bars 228, there's the 228. If we go to the look, uh, uh, we've got 49, which is listed down here around that bar, around the 50 bar. So we get a nice pictorial representation. So the bar chart is, is quite nice when you have something on the x-axis that that we can easily graph on the x-axis we'll take a look at data later where we have numerical data possibly on an x-axis and it's less easy for us to just use uh each of these each of these data points as a point on the x-axis axis and that's why we're going to use basically a histogram which is a, can be a little bit confusing because it looks kind of like a bar chart and we can actually create a histogram using the bar chart tool in Excel. We'll take a look at uh, later as well, but just that's the precursor to that. Now, if we did the same thing with other texts like uh, Harry Potter, this is with Harry Potter. These are most frequently used words in the series, most frequently used words in the series. So I just looked these up you know, online. They say these are the most frequently wor used words. Now note that if you if you went in and you counted all the words that show up in Harry Potter and and you looked at this, you might say, OK, now I've got this. This information might not be the most useful because I have a lot of those, a lot of ands, a lot of twos, a lot of ofs. So you might you might say, hey, I'd like to, I need to sort my data to be a little bit more restrictive, possibly, possibly these are not. So now they've they've taken another step and they said display frequency of non-stop words in the whole series. Now I don't want to go into detail on, on non-stop words and what stop words are, but what they did is of course they said they said, hey, look, I want to pull this particular data to get some particular meaning about Harry Potter, possibly the writing style uh, for Harry Potter, possibly someone's trying to mimic maybe the writing style for Harry Potter to have a similar success with it or something like that. And they pulled this information and they say, eh, you know, maybe that's, maybe these words aren't helping me with my objective as much. What if I try to come up with a term of saying, I'm gonna look at this data set and try to determine non, uh, non-stop words and try to extract those particular words and possibly then I'll get a set of words that are more meaningful. So you can see how they're using techniques here to, to trim down the data set according to the objectives that are that are in that we have. So here, so the same thing would happen, we would want to sort the words possibly by the frequency, how often they show up. This is just another format of the bar chart. So we did the same thing. We've got the list of words here. And then instead of having the bar chart with the x axis having the words and then the count on the y now we've got the x axis having the count of the words and the the uh the words on the y so now of course this one is for the is the highest count of the 51 that lines up this way so uh when we're working in excel we can do this fairly easily we can you know change and clearly when we're looking at these kind of charts there's a couple objectives usually one objective is how can we look at pictorially so that we can get m more meaning from it and then when you're looking at it from a presentation standpoint you're trying to give this data to somebody else then sometimes there's another objective of course of can i make this a little bit more appealing possibly changing the colors just for the appeal of it possibly changing it from a bar chart that's more standard that pos that people have seen more often to to turn it on its side 
so that it doesn't do, you know remove any information from the data but is more visually appealing or at least different maybe so same thing here now we took the the these words out and this was their count without those words we made another chart with it and we just you know have a different color with it now which is, these are things you can do in excel which we'll practice if you go to the excel side of things uh and we'll build this one as well obviously if we look at this word count we see the names are used ron hermione double door looked professor hagrid time wand eyes so it's an interesting list i'm not sure exactly what i would uh, <laughs> pull from that but uh, uh clearly there's a lot of conversations where they talk to each other and they like to say each other's name i guess so when you when you talk in a novel you have to mention when they're talking to each other the people's names a bunch of time i don't know i don't know what you extract from that i'm not a, i'm not a novelist